Hi there, thanks for watching. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made this Baby Yoda, AKA Disney Mandalorian's The Child. What you'll need can be found at the Dollar Tree and also your local craft store, such as Walmart or Hobby Lobby. And it's going to be two green dish towels, a roll of burlap, foam balls, I bought the bag of different sizes, a package of zip ties, the clear zip ties, and then stuffing from the craft store, black and white paint. Also, you'll need a hot glue gun. The first step is to fold one of the towels in half and do hot glue on both sides of the towels so you get a nice seal. Once your hot glue is dried, go ahead and pinch the corners to form the ears. And in order to hold it tight, I use a zip tie. I was worried that over time the rubber bands would disintegrate or weaken. So this I felt was going to be more of a permanent solution. I just kind of folded it around my finger to give it a little bit of an ear shape. Just play with the size you want and the shape that you want. Um, pretty cute how it just automatically looks like a little baby Yoda ear. Once you have your ears, clip off the end of the zip ties and then you're going to fill the head with your polyfill. Once I got a nice shape of the head and I saw that it was starting to quickly look just like baby Yoda, I grabbed a zip tie and tied it tight. And now we're going to make little baby Yoda feet. So you just grab the corners that you have here and we're gonna do the same thing almost like the ears. Just go ahead and zip tie it. And then you're just gonna wanna put more stuffing into the body portion and then hot glue it right on the seam there to seal it shut. And I think for this, in this case, it's better to use more stuffing than less. Um, as long as you can get it closed, that'll be good because that'll keep him standing up. Once he's sealed up, you're gonna go get the burlap and start wrapping it around the body. What I did was I just started in the middle of him and put a little dab of hot glue and now I'm just kind of wrapping it around and playing with how I want it to look. Just fold over that edge so it's not a rough edge of the burlap and you're just gonna keep twisting it and wrapping it around. You can go in later and hot glue exactly where you want it so it's nice and secure.
Now here, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue over those zip ties so they're not showed. So I just put a dab of glue right directly on the zip tie. And then I'm just kind of folding a piece of the towel over and holding it to dry, which worked really nice. Okay, now time for the eyeballs. I found these pack of different size foam balls and I'm gonna go with the medium size. Just kind of cut it in half and now I'm just gonna mold it into the shape that I want. And almost kind of like the shape of a football was what I was kind of going for. If you decide to leave it perfectly round, that's okay too. It's super cute. The one thing that I love about Baby Yoda is his big, giant eyes. That is what gives him his character that we love so much about him. So I wanted to keep that look. Okay, now here's where I kind of went wrong in this video. I got so excited and I went and hot glued the eyes directly on. You can do that like I did, or you can paint them black beforehand, because I'm gonna paint them black and Mod Podge them so they're super shiny. Um, I kind of left a little bit of space anyway, so I didn't get close to the green. It's okay if you paint them after. I did it, it turned out just fine. Um, I was too impatient, but you can, however, paint them first. Okay, so here I am just going to go ahead and paint directly both eyeballs black. I use black acrylic paint for that. Once my black paint was dry, I went over it with glossy Mod Podge. I wanted them to be shiny. I was kind of upset that my black paint wasn't shiny, so this was a good solution. Again, turned out quite all right to me. While my eyeballs were drying, I decided to add some arms to Baby Yoda. So I took our second dish rag and I'm just cutting out a square shape. And then from there, I cut it in half into this little arm shape. Can't really go wrong here. I just hot glued to seal it up and then I'm going to flip them both inside out. Okay, now I'm just gonna turn them inside out and then stuff them with a little bit of polyfill. Okay, and what I did here was I added a little pipe cleaner. I thought maybe it would help the arms be able to bend. I didn't include the pipe cleaner in my items list because I don't feel it actually made much of a difference enough to actually talk about it. But I did add them in there. However, when it's all said and done, they didn't bend any kind of way. So pretty unnecessary step. If you have them and wanna include them in that, more power to you. Um, didn't matter either way, honestly. Now we're just gonna seal up the little arms and start wrapping them in burlap to create a sleeve. Now what I did to create a sleeve, I just folded over the top of the piece of burlap so it had a nice clean edge, 
wrapped it around and then glued it in place. Then I just glue inside where I want the arms to be placed. Just do a nice big glob of hot glue and wedge the arms in. It works best if you're doing it in the crease of where the burlap is wrapped around. Okay, so my eyes aren't completely dry, but I'm running out of patience here and I wanna see this guy together. So I'm just putting glue on the top of his eye and just squeezing down the towel on top of it so it holds it. So it kind of like looks like the eyeballs are set actually into his head and not just bulging out. So I'm just kind of playing with the glue here, putting it around the eyes and in the corner of, the t in the corner of his eyes and holding the fabric down around it and pinching. Hold it there for a long time. Um, make sure that glue is completely dry before you release, otherwise it's just going to pull apart from the eyes and not give you the look that you want. So you want that to really be set in. So just hold and pinch, glue and pinch, and it might take a couple of tries to get it how you want, but it is possible. And then I decided what I wanted to do was add a little bit of white to give him more of a little sparkle in his eye. So I just took white craft paint and just kind of played, made two little dots next to each other. And then I took a little bit of white just around the rim on the outer parts of his eye. I think it just gives him character and adds a little bit of depth. Also, if you see his little mouth, I just took a black Sharpie and drew a tiny little mouth across. You could use black paint. Um, you could hot glue his mouth shut, however you want to do it. But I just feel like he has so much cuteness added to him from that simple little step. Thank you all so much for watching my tutorial. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a beautiful day.